The race for space has just begun. The race to reach the moon and sun. And we've got half the battle won. Half rocket. Oh, we'll travel. While Uncle Sam is looking hard, there's genius in his own backyard. He says here on our calling card, have rocket. Oh, we'll travel. Our rocket ship is one they cast it off. Just a dud that never blasted off. That's the reason science passed it to us. You may think that we've gone mad. We know we have, but is that bad? Now let's prepare the launching pad, I said. Have rocket, we'll travel away. Stars beyond number, time without end. The universe stretches, mysterious, unknown, demanding it be explored. Great institutions, mighty space vehicles, brilliant men and women. Science gathers its strength and stands ready to hurl a metal bird into the cold but inviting space beyond our tiny world. Following in the giant footsteps of the brave voyages of yesterday, Columbus, Magellan, Amundsen, Peary, are today's pathfinders. Pathfinders to the planets, dedicated to the great adventure of discovery. The building and firing of a machine designed to carry man into space requires an organization of many men and women, many minds, many talents. Some, it may seem at first glance, in lowly but necessary positions. Most of all, however, it requires from everyone work, hard work. <laughs> Minus 10, 9, 8, ignition. Wonderful flow. Main Five, stage. 4, 3, 2, 1. to somebody? Hey, maybe it's lost. Uh, it's ours, you onion heads. 
Well, what's it doing here, then? Maybe they sent it over to be cleaned and polished. Yeah, maybe we've been promoted. Hey, here comes somebody. Uh-oh, here comes Mr. Trouble. Let's get out of here. Dr. Ingwood's with him. Let's stick around and see who J.B. blames for this mess. Come on. Another ten million dollars. Back to the lab and the drafting board. What went wrong this time? Maybe it's still the human element. I'd expect the psychologist to be sentimental. Nice girl, that. Nice girl. This is no time for scientific argument. As head of this foundation, I am concerned with the building of a spaceship. This is the fourth model we've attempted. And it landed here. Lucky there was only a monkey in it, not a man. It's still our fuel problem, Mr. Morse. Well, we've got to start all over again. Come on, Dr. Narvig. Let's go back and get to work. What about this thing? We'll check it. You. Here's the key. Guard it. You heard JP? Guard it. Now fall in. Hey. <coughs> The right flank. March! What's that? It's the monkey. What? The monkey? Hey, he's still alive. Yeah. We gotta get him out of there. Yeah, we got Picks and shovels. Picks and shovels. Picks and shovels. Picks and shovels. Look, why don't you have dinner with me tonight? I must get back to my work now. But everyone should have relaxation. You know, Doctor, my job here is to look after you eminent scientists and your emotional problems. Particularly the first woman scientist ever to work at this foundation. I have no special emotional problems, Doctor. But I have. <laughs> then see a psychologist. Ingrid, please marry me. I promise to let all of our girl children become electronic geniuses like their mother. And that's a concession, ma'am. I'm already married. To all this? To science? To my career? Well, I hope you'll both be very happy. I just thought of something. Do you know who are the happiest and best adjusted people in this institution? I'm not interested. Those maintenance men. Mo, Larry, and Curly Joe. They're not married to any kind of science at all. You know that Dr. Narvik, I feel sorry for her. Yeah, and she's in trouble, too. Oh! I'm sorry, Mo. I know, kid. That can happen to anybody. Sure. Oh! Uh, watch what you're doing, you imbecile. Stop talking and get to work. I'm gonna get away from you. And another pick. Oh! Oh, my dear. Hey, Mo, the hatch is uncovered. Oh, boy. Quick, get in. Down here. The monkey, down here. 
Give me a hand. Hey. Hey, Joe. Get on this with us, will you? Get over there. All right, all right, all right. Hurry up. Okay, okay. All right, now. Come on. Yeah. Heave. Oh, heave. Heave. Oh. Heave. 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 Knuckleheads. Oh. It's stuck. How are we going to get out of here? Through the ship. We'll go up through the ship. First, the monkey. Oh. Ouch! He bit me! There must be a way out then. Yeah, let's go down. Go ahead. Get out of this zoo. How do you get out of here? Must be a door someplace. <laughs> he says, push the red button. My dolly, it worked. I'll be a monkey's uncle. No, Curly Joe is. Come on. Push your red button. A wise kind of a monkey. If I was in there as long as he was, I'd have known where all the buttons were. Hmm. What gets me is how did he get in the pilot's cabin before we did? How does he open those doors? Mm, there's nothing to it. I once knew a monkey that could read and write. <laughs> you know, it's easy to work these things.
So that's what they put in the rockets, huh? Sure. Liquid hydrogen, boron, kerosene, beryllium. Oh, no wonder Dr. Ingrid's got a problem. Yeah, she couldn't make up her mind which one to use. Well, are you boys interested in science? <laughs> well, we're just looking, Doctor. We like pictures. That's all right. I respect men who show an interest in the sciences. It's a mark of intelligence. For a lady scientist, she's not only pretty, she's also got brains. Would you boys like to join me in a cup of coffee? A pleasure, Doctor. A real pleasure. That's a hi-fi set, isn't it, Doctor? No, it's an interspace communicating system. Really? Color television. No, ultrasonics. <laughs> I dabble a bit in science myself, Doctor. You do? Yeah. Uh, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, gravity. Oh, as a hobby, understand. Purely as a hobby. You mustn't deprecate your interests, Mo. Today's hobby is often tomorrow's vocation. So keep working. Keep studying. Who knows? Maybe one of these days you'll be working in this lab, and not just to clean it. That would be a great honor, Doctor. Oh, caffeine and H2O. Wow. Coffee, Jughead. You know, in my country, my father was a janitor. Like us? And he scraped and he saved every penny to put me through school and make a scientist of me. Any of you could be my father. To science and everyone in it. To the unknown dreams of those small, obscure people that become the great achievements of tomorrow. Abuno disse omnis. She talks Latin. You know, I feel as though we are old friends. We talk the same kind of language. E. Eurus Unum. What's going on here? They're having coffee with me. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, the board doesn't approve of this sort of mixing. Uh, scientists with, uh, with people. I know this is your laboratory, Doctor, but rules are rules. Get to work. Now, Doctor. I have some unpleasant news for you, and for ourselves as well. Unpleasant? I realize that you are the first woman to ever occupy such an important post in this institution, and that you have a tremendous desire to succeed in your work. What are you trying to say, Mr. Morris? We have completed checking the spaceship, even after that fall over the cliff caused by these idiots. The ship is in perfect working order. The problem remains fuel. And the board of directors have come to a decision. Oh? They're considering closing down this laboratory. She's going to lose her job. They can't do that. I'm afraid they can. Here is the key to the ship. Now, before the next meeting of the board, if you can't come up with a solution to the fuel and the thrust problem, the directors have decided to call a halt to this project. I see. And that includes you. I can say that none of you will be missed. I do not believe there are three more stupid, incompetent, stumble-footed men on this earth. Oh! 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 Imbeciles! Boy, are we in for it now. One of these days. One of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Oh. One of these days, you're gonna put my eyes out.
Doctor, we're sorry. Real sorry. Don't cry, Ingrid, please. Here, here's a handkerchief. Yeah, blow. <laughs> Doctor, the key. We gotta help her. Yeah. But how? We gotta do something about that fuel business. Yeah, maybe we can. And then she won't lose her job. We can't let them fire somebody who could be our daughter, right? Right. 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 You're right. right. I'm I right. knew you were right. You're right. right. Boy, boy, boy. You're so... Everything all right? Right. 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 <laughs> Follow me. More solid propellant. The liquid propellant will melt the solid propellant. Boron, kerosene, liquid hydrogen. They use them separately. We mix them together. Maybe we'll get some thrust. Here, take this. <laughs> hey, Mo, try that. Sodium bicarbonate. That should give it some fizz. Hey, there's a whole can of it over there. Bring it! The sugar. Now 
boy, huh? Let's go. Go ahead. Here, lock the door. I could take you to your planets and your stars. Oh, don't talk like that, please. You're a woman of science. Why should you object when love uses the language of science? But I'm not interested in love. Well, experiment, research. When two bodies meet in space, they attract each other. Let me go, please. Do they think of jobs, of projects, of theories? No, they collide. That's like being in another universe, isn't it? this hour of the night. And what's all that noise going on? And those lights? Oh, cleaning up. Uh, your scientists uh, left uh, an awful mess. If that lab isn't shut and quiet in 10 minutes, I'll come down there and make a mess out of you. We only got 10 minutes of... Larry? Larry? Larry, where are you? Here. Larry! Grab my hand, I'll pull you out. I'm all right, Mo. Ow! 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 All right. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. I'll be right back. That ought to slide him out. Hi! You down there, too? Sure! Where's Larry? Here I am. Shut up, I can't hear! Uh, how did you get out? I crawled out. You nit... Oh! They delete the pipe by foot! Pouring all over the cellar! Okay, come on, Larry.
questions just drop
We're going to get fired. We won't be able to help anybody. Shut up and let me think. Contact them. I still can. Well, keep trying. I'll bet they don't even know there's a communication system aboard. No change in their course, eh? Huh? None. They can't control it. The ship's on an automatic course to the planet Venus. Look, a watermelon. Jughead. What is it? How would I know? Hand me that book. Maybe it's got some information in it. Hey, what about this now? I don't know. Try the other wheel there. Anything happening? Try the other one. Give me the book. I just gave it to you. What do you mean you just gave it to me? Hey, look, it's floating. You dimwit, can't you remember there's no gravity in space? Now go on, get it. He's a... Try, the, try this again here. Plug it in. Thinking about them, they're lost. Think about us, about you and me. No, no, don't stop thinking about us. We have our own world here. Let's enjoy it. How do you like that? We're lost in space and they're making love down there. I think it's nice. Yeah! Hey, the television went dead. Oh? Oh? <laughs> Larry, see what it... 
Hey, what are you doing up there? I swallowed it. What? I swallowed the tube. Oh. Oh. What? What did he swallow? He swallowed the tube. And without it, we can't contact Earth. Get him down here. Wait a minute. Put on those magnetized boots. Do you want both of you to be up on the ceiling? Easy, easy. You want to give him a concussion? You feel all right, Larry? I think I got a little gas. Ooh. Get the medical kit. Yeah, the medical kit. Medical, medical kit. kit? What are you going to do? Calm yourself. We have to operate. We're going to get that tube out. Well, no, you don't. Anesthetic. Anesthetic. No, you Anesthetic. don't. Anesthetic. Nobody lays a hand on me. I never laid a hand on him. Get the stethoscope. Oh, stethoscope, yeah. Come, 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 come. Stethoscope. Stethoscope. There you are. One stethoscope coming out. Well. Come on, quit clowning. This is serious. Oh. 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 Hey, I can hear it. The tube is still working. Shh. Please. Please. Somebody will come in. I don't care. I love you. Love you. I guess they'll never stop making love down there. Get me the scalpel. Scalpel. Oh. Never mind the stethoscope. Get me the scalpel. Scalpel, scalpel, scalpel. I'll get the whole medical kit. Scalpel. One scalpel coming out. Jughead, can't you remember about the gravity? Oh, the patient. Trust you to do anything around here. Get the Grandma Partiola. Yeah, Grandma Partiola. Grandma Partiola. A Grandma Partiola. It's in the medical kit. Oh. It did it when I wasn't looking. I'll murder you. I'll throw you off the ship. You got space madness. I'll throw you to the asteroid. It's me, Curly. I'll Curly. make a satellite out of you. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. We're landing. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Yes. yes, I love you, too. But I've got to contact the boys. Hey, the tube. It, it's still working. the world. Act like human beings. We're going to explore. Here, lock the ship. Wait a minute. I'd better do it myself. Maybe it was by accident. But think of it, fellas. The first space travelers. Us three. There must be a civilization of great achievement. Intelligent life must be waiting for us here.
Hey, Mo, your outside head is broken. The air, it's all right. You can breathe this air. So you breathe it. I want to go back to Earth. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute. We got to explore this planet. And get ourselves barbecued? Don't you want to go down in history? No. no. Don't you want to astound the world? No. no. Don't you want to become celebrated and famous? No. no. Don't you want to help Dr. Ingrid? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, then we gotta prove that we reach this planet and bring back the proof. That's the only way we can help Dr. Ingrid. The things a man has to do for a woman. All right, get rid of the helmets. We don't need them. All right, we're going that way. Go ahead. There's life here, that much we know. Yeah, I can still feel it. But the higher forms of it, the most intelligent life, that's what we gotta look for. <laughs> What's that? Somebody's crying. <laughs> it's around there. Come on. Please. Please. Someone help me. Hey, a talking horse. I am not a horse. I am a unicorn. And my horn is stuck in the rocks. Oh, please. Please, someone help me. Intelligent life. Help him. Easy, easy. All together now. Pull. I was trying to eat some of the Pull. rock flowers when I got caught. Many, many thanks to thee. Thou hast my gratitude. Hey, this horse talks funny. Please, I am a unicorn. Horses are slaves. Amazing. Absolutely astounding. I must make a note of this. My name is Mo. I'm Larry. And I'm Curly Joe. I am pleased to meet thee. And, and we, we are, are pleased to meet thee. Ain't he quaint? Ain't? The word is isn't. Isn't he quizzent? Thy language is most odd, and thou hast a strange look. We are a man from another Earth. We have just arrived upon your planet. Welcome to Venus, my friends. Take us to your leader. Alack, I am the last of my line. Is there a higher form of life on this planet? Aye, thou hast done me a kindness, so I will do one for thee. Their city lies across the Lake of the Flowers. Come, I shall lead thee there. Hey, Uni, wait for us. <laughs> Got this far to think our rocket shot this far. It's Venus, boys, and here we are. Admit it. We did it. To top it off when we descend, we meet our two-eyed one-horned friend. And ain't he just a living end? He's purple. He's people. Remember, men, we're on another earth, far away from good old Mother Earth. If he's not our friend and brother, we're dead. Suppose these people rise in storm. Suppose they're not a higher form. Well, boys, let's keep the engines warm in case. Have rocket, we'll travel in space. And now, dear friends, it is time to say farewell. What? The land thou seek is just beyond this hill. 
Aren't you coming with us? Alas, I cannot. I would be enslaved there. Gee, Uni, I'm going to miss you. I will be waiting here for thy return. Goodbye, Goodbye Uni. For a little while. Well, onward and upward. Go ahead. Bye, Uni. Bye. At last, we'll meet the highest form of life on this planet. I'll bet there'll be nice people like the unicorn. What's that? Look. Nobody in it. You are expected. Enter. A talking automobile. It's the higher form of life. Do not delay. I am waiting. I am Larry. I am Mo. And I am Curly Joe. Take us to your leader. Boy, this thing can travel. Hey, car. Speak respectfully. Hey, automobile, where's everybody? There is nobody. No people? There is only electrical energy and myself. Well, who are you? Sir, we are men from another planet and... Why do you prattle? Energy is not to be wasted. Look upon my city. This is what my energy did. And here is more of what my energy can do. Treat the first space travelers. Yeah, who does he think he is? That is who I am. That's civilized. <clears throat> Sir? Wherever you are, <clears throat> greetings from your sister planet, Earth. I have no sister. I have no one. You mean you're all alone? I am the only one of my kind. Look upon me. Look! I'm getting out of here. Me too. Me three. No doors! There are doors. Hey, fellas, this way! Enter. Not me! No! It's got me! Oh, oh, it's got me! Oh, oh. I think we picked the wrong planet. Now look here, my good... M my good... Whatever you are. You should treat us with more respect. Yeah, we got great accomplishments to our credit, too. That's right. We're not little men. I, I shall prove, prove that you are little men. Get in. Uh, 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 come on, no! 
When you are finished, convert them into energy. Meanwhile, I shall rest. How do we get out of here? Push buttons. Look! Follow me. After that. Go ahead. Funny feeling. What kind of a funny feeling? Like something's gonna happen. Yeah? You fools! What are you what doing? doing? Not, not that switch, not that one! one. <laughs> Look, we're back where we started from. Let's get back to our ship. You, you let them get, get away! away. They're out of our range. Give me one. Hey, Uni, Uni, it's us. Oh, 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 oh. Didst thou find the highest form of life? Yeah, that's why we want to go home. Come on, Uni. Abracadabra!
do you start it? How should I know? Push buttons. We're taking off. Strap yourselves in. Gentlemen, our guests of honor. <laughs> Tell us about the planet Venus. Gentlemen, gentlemen. You can hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Good evening, everybody. Well, it's not unlike your planet Earth, and the flowers on Venus are more tasty. down in history. The reason we did it was to help you, Ingrid. Thank you. Thank you. May I dance with my wife? Surely. It was nothing, mademoiselle. All it took was genius, determination, and raw courage. Ah, oh, Monsieur Larry, it was a magnifique, magnifique. Quel courage! Un hero, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oui, mademoiselle. He is a very great man. Uh, may I cut in? Thank you. <laughs> Why didn't I learn French instead of Latin? Oh, a Latin. And we have a monster 300 feet high. Uh, Still in fire. Me. Imagine. Uh, excuse me. Is it a secret? We're going to name our children after you. We're going to have three of them, so that each one can have a famous godfather. Oh, wonderful. Mo, suppose they're girls. What's in the name? Mo, Larry, Curly Jill. Mo! Oh, 
my shoe. Autograph this for me. Yeah, sure. A absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh. oh, that's wonderful. Oh, anything, <laughs> anything for science and a lovely lady. Oh. Yeah. I do wish I could do something for you, Professor. Well, you could honor me with the dance. Oh, you're such a celebrated person. Cut it out, you lame brain. She's doing it to me. Oh. Next time I'll do it to your head. Face to face, my friend. We've done it. You've had it. 